But these guys are just weird. That's who they are. Last night, Donald Trump held another town hall with Fox News, where he gave very weird answers. The town hall began with Trump saying that he believes Hispanic voters are attracted to him. We're going to have a good time today. Uh, just very special people. Uh, brilliant, energetic, and somehow it just, uh, they've attracted to me, I've attracted to them, and uh, we look forward to having a big win. We're going to create a lot of jobs. We create jobs. That's Trump then responds to a former Republican voter who became an independent voter after Trump attempted to overthrow the 2020 election. It was taken strong action. Ashley Babbitt was killed. Nobody was killed. Uh, there were no guns down there. We didn't have guns. The others had guns, but we didn't have guns. And uh, when I say we, these are people that walked down. This was a tiny percentage of the overall, which nobody sees and nobody nobody shows. But that was Trump also had the audacity to defend the January 6th insurrectionists who attacked the Capitol and tried to kill former Vice President Mike Pence and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The election, they thought the election was a rigged election, and that's why they came. Some of those people went down to the Capitol. I said, peacefully and patriotically, nothing done wrong at all, nothing done wrong. After being asked to explain his policy on gun control to the victims of school shootings, Trump said we need guns for sport and entertainment. Right to bear arms, essentially. And I'm very strongly uh, an advocate of that. I think you need that. I think that uh, if you ever tried to get rid of it, the uh, you wouldn't be able to do it. You wouldn't be able to take away the guns because people need that for security. They need it for entertainment and for sport and other things. Donald Trump's town hall was once again full of weird and unserious answers. These questions deserve serious answers, and that's why Kamal Harris is running for president. My plans for the economy will strengthen the economy, as have been reviewed by 16 Nobel laureates, uh, Goldman Sachs, Moody's, and recently the Wall Street Journal, which have all studied our plans and have indicated my plans for our economy would strengthen our economy, his would make them weaker, why do you would think ignite people inflation, say... and invite a recession by the middle of next year. Why Those are you, the facts. Why